Okay, good morning. Um, I want to talk to you about some exciting new research. I want to let you know that uh, there's something called the International Federation for Surgery of Obesity, and that's uh, weight loss surgeons, bariatric surgeons from around the world, and they have a national or international meeting every year, and this year the meeting's going to be in Paris, and so the International Federation of Surgery of Obesity and Metabolic Diseases, or the IFSO, meets in Paris this year. And scientists, researchers, and physicians from around the world present the latest research and developments in weight loss surgery from around the world. Um, as you probably know, the mini gastric bypass has been around now for 12 years, but in the United States, uh, many surgeons have been skeptical about its results. And so it's exciting to report that this upcoming IFSO meeting presents papers from around the world with the results of the mini gastric bypass. And in the nine papers presented, including two presented by, to be presented by me, um, the mini gastric bypass results are as good as or better than every other weight loss surgery that it's been tested against. So that's pretty exciting. Specifically, there is a whole area of medical research that's called medical decision making or evidence-based medicine. The idea there is how do we decide? If you think of weight loss surgery, there's very good doctors who prefer the lap band. And they're great doctors, they're smart, their education background is excellent, and they think the best treatment for their patients is a lap band. There's other excellent doctors who prefer the Roux and Y gastric bypass. And there are other excellent doctors who now prefer the sleeve gastrectomy. And there used to be excellent doctors who liked stomach stapling, and there are other excellent doctors who still today like the bilio pancreatic diversion with duodenal switch. And you can get into other controversies in medicine like when do you do back surgery? Should you have back surgery or medical treatment? Should you have coronary artery bypass grafting or medical treatment? Or should you have a stent placed? In these areas of controversy, scientists, including some of the leading institutions in the United States, including the uh, Medicare people, the Centers for Medicare, the Institute of Medicine, have come forward with their opinion that the way to make medical decisions should be based on evidence or research. And they've classified published research into different levels. Level one research is what's called a randomized controlled trial. Randomized controlled prospective trial. So if you wanted the answer to whether or not it's better to have a heart bypass or a catheterization with a stent, the ideal, the best, the most powerful way to make that decision would be to have a randomized trial. And half of the people would get the cardiac catheterization, and half of the people would get heart bypass surgery. And that is level one evidence. And the reason I bring that up is because we're excited to report that in the upcoming IFSO meeting, there are three randomized controlled prospective trials looking at the MGB. They looked at the MGB versus the Roux and Y and the MGB was better. They looked at the MGB versus the lap band and the MGB was better. And they looked at the MGB versus the sleeve gastrectomy and the MGB was better. So we're excited to report that and purely for work purposes, I will be in Paris this year to uh, present my paper and listen to those, uh, and we're excited to report to you. And if you'll check our website, some of the details of these presentations are available for your review. And in some of the videos we'll be going through later, we'll go through the details of the results of these studies.